Now that many are working from home and some doing online courses, the technology is really playing a very big role. For example, you can scan your document right from your mobile device using an adequate app. Hi, this is Frederick from the Lionic Creative Studio. And in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to scan document professionally right with your mobile device. I've tried so many applications but today we'll be using this specific application from Microsoft. The application is called Microsoft Lens. And the good news is this application is completely free. So let's jump in. I'll be using an Android phone for this tutorial, but you can follow up with your iPhone. So let's jump in right to the phone. So right in here on my phone, I'm going to go right to the Play Store to download the app that we're going to use today. So I'm going to type in right. I'm going to type in here Microsoft Lens. And right here we have Microsoft Lens PDF Scanner. So I'm going to click on it. I'm going to click on Install. So right as you can see, this app have over 10 million download. All right, so we have this application installed on my phone, so I'm going to click on Open. We have to allow the lens to access photos and media on our device. Based on the fact that you're using this application for the first time, so you have to allow the app to access our photos. So I'm going to click on allow. Right, we're going to click on start scanning. I'm going to click on next. And right here, I'm going to click on don't send optional data to Microsoft. We're going to click close. So after we click close, I'm going to shift a little bit to the place where I have my document. Then we're going to start scanning a document. Allow again. So right as you can see here, I have my document here. So I'm going to take off this remote and we are going to scan our document. So as you can see, this app is actually uh, carrying out the process by selecting the edge of the document. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to scan right. I'm going to snap the, the document, position the document very well, and I'm going to scan it. Uh, okay. So now, as you can see that this document has been scanned, we have the option to select the edge to reposition the edge of the document. Somebody asked me the other time, Fred, why can't I use my phone camera just to snap the document and send? The difference between this uh, app and using your camera, your phone camera app, is that this gives you the option to select the edge of your document and it's straighten the document. So you're gonna get what I'm saying right now. So I'm gonna select very well the edge you can cut off the part that you don't want in the document, but I'm going to leave it exactly like he, uh, the way it is. So what I actually want to do is to cut off this particular edge that I don't like from the left side. So I'm going to drag it a little bit, just a little. 
and now we're gonna click on confirm right as you can see we have this document well scanned so right by the left we have this option to hard this option allows you to add more document let's assume that you are scanning more than one document you can scan you can add more and more documents so I'm gonna click on filter here on filters so this filter this is more or less like Instagram filter they give you the option to select the best filter for your document so I'm gonna click the first one this is without filter so we click on this one is the document filter as you can see it removes all the line and the background uh, the background lines so when I select the lighting it shows uh, these uh, the background line so I'm gonna stick to this one then after that you click right on the document to return so we have this option of crop you click on crop it takes you back to the first area where we can cut off the part that we don't want in this document so I'm gonna click again on confirm so right as you can see we have more option this app is so flexible it give you uh, more flexibilities on how to modify your document so I'm gonna click on more so right on more we have the option to rotate that document and we also have the option here to highlight so when you click on ink it gives you the option to highlight a particular area of the document you can also select the color here so I'm going to click confirm so we have this section already highlighted we go back to more you also have the option to add text to your document and in the case of adding more having more than one document we have the option to reorder the pages in a document so I'm gonna click out again and after this the next thing that we have to do is to click on done when you are satisfied with the scanning of the documents so right on top here we have, we have the title we have the option to type in to give a document a name so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click right here and I'm gonna delete this and I'm gonna cut this one uh, MH lens doc I'm gonna click right outside and I'm gonna click on save so as you can see we have a document I'm gonna open it with gallery we have a document here scanned properly and what I mean uh, properly scanned so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna try to scan this very document twice so that you can see how to go about it so we're gonna go back to Microsoft links and I'm gonna scan this document once again right so and the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on confirm again and I'm gonna click now on hard So now that I've added another document, I'm going to click on confirm. So we have document one and we have document two. So I'm going to click on this right arrow here. So as you can see, we have document on page one and we have document on page two. Page one and we have a second page here. So if I click on more I have the option to reorder the document if I want to take this to I want to take the page one to second page we have the option to carry out I mean to do this right here so I'm gonna click done and I'm gonna click done again so I'm gonna click I'm gonna delete the the text here and we're gonna call this one MS lens double
and right we'll click outside and we'll click save so we have a document right here that's gonna be all for today if you find value in this video please don't forget to smash the like button and if you're here for the first time also don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more interesting videos of this kind and i'll catch you in the next video peace